Hey everybody, this is part two of our pop art project using Photoshop. In this part, we will be colorizing our pop art black and white structure that we created in the first part of the tutorials. So right now, what I want you to do is make sure that you are on the brush tool and you have a brush that is a hard round brush. That's the type of brush that we want to use for this process. And notice that this is where we change our colors down here for our brushes. And you were supposed to practice that a week ago. So we wanna be coloring with gray today, kind of a light gray color, light to medium gray is good. And again, we are going to uh, use our layers and adjustments and something else that's new. So what we want to do to start is create a new layer on top of all layers. So we go to our little new layer icon and click that. We want to make sure it's on top of all of the layers. All right, that's key. And then we're going to pick an area to colorize first. I'm going to um, increase my brush size by using my bracket keys. And I'm going to do this area um, on the passenger side of the car. What I'm gonna do is just start painting. I am going to go very quickly, but you can go more slowly. I just wanna get through the tutorial pretty quickly. And it looks like I'm covering up everything and I am for the moment but I won't be forever, okay? And you can get kind of your large areas with the bigger brush and then take your brush down, zoom in, command plus, space bar to move and get into these other areas that you need to by making your brush a little or a lot smaller. I'm going very quickly um, just for purposes of this tutorial. I'm gonna get even smaller down here Get this area, space bar to move. Kind of get up in here a little bit. Kind of went a little wild and it's okay because you're trying to make it look like a silk screen. Command zero brings it back to the center. So the next step in this is um, we're going to blend the what's underneath with what I just painted on. And we're gonna use our blend modes. The idea is that we're making a new layer for each of the colored areas in our project so that when we replicate it in the end, we can just use a slider and change all of the colors at once. You will see why we're doing this. And it just helps you learn the process. So I'm gonna go over here to where it says normal. And these are our blend modes. It's fun to try different blend modes, which you'll have to do for the next project. But for this project, we're just going to choose multiply. And that is blending what's underneath with what we just painted. All right, so now you can see your details underneath. And now we're gonna colorize this area, all right? So we'll use an adjustment layer, and that one is going to be hue saturation. Hue means color, saturation is how intense the color is. So I'm hovering over that here. And what I wanna do is click on hue saturation layer. And here's the trick. We're gonna go colorize and clip it down. This little thing with an arrow pointing down is clip it down. <clears throat> and so that means we're just gonna colorize the layer underneath. And then we can pop our saturation all the way up and change our hue, our color. You pick the color that you want. I'm gonna pick this kind of bright green. They should be pretty pop arty, intense colors. And there you have green on in that area. And now we're gonna start again and I'll do another area for this tutorial. We're gonna go new layer on top and you can name your layers by clicking on that. And I'm gonna name that green. So, and this one will layer after I complete it. So we wanna be up on top. We get our paintbrush. We got gray we're gonna paint with. 
I'm going to bump up my brush a bit and start painting over here. The other thing that's cool you can do is use your uh, selection tools, the polygonal lasso. You could try that out if you have a lot of angles and straight lines. I'm just going to do it here just to try it for you. If you click and then click and click, click and back to your start. I'm going to do it again. I got to keep moving quickly. <laughs> and I'm trying to find the beginning. Hopefully that's working. There we go. This isn't going to look great, but I don't want to restart this tutorial. <clears throat> what you can do is then go back to your brush and paint in that selection really fast. You can make your brush really big and just paint in the selection. And that will make it easier to get, you know, hard edges. And then I'm just going to go to my blend modes multiply. And you can see the details come back. Adjustment, hue saturation, colorize, clip it down. And I'm going to change my hue, make my saturation all the way up. I'm going to make this kind of a pink color. And as you can see, I kind of messed this up, but I'm not going to stop the tutorial. Hopefully I'll do a better job in class. But that was just a way to use the um, polygonal lasso in order to get a, an area colored very quickly. So then you're going to continue on again, new layer on top. And I'm going to name this layer down here pink. And then go up to my new layer to make sure I'm working on that layer and select another area to colorize.